The day of my accident, I began uh, getting chased around the pool. Did a kind of funny side dive, arms to my side, and just the way I hit the water, and I sunk to the bottom. I couldn't move, my hands were balled up, and I couldn't feel anything. I spent three weeks in Cooper and was transported to McGee Hospital. I didn't know what to expect, and once I, I got there, I wasn't nervous anymore. People made me feel comfortable. My first day of therapy at McGee was actually a great day because my therapist felt my toe, my right toe, and there was a little wiggle there. It was like one day I could move one toe, the next day I could move two toes, and a week later I started moving my fingers and move one finger, and then I could move another finger. And I had a lot of hope. My main goal is just to be able to walk again and run hopefully here. even run. Should we run? Keep going, faster, 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 faster. Come on, up top, here you go, mother. Tiny. This is awesome. Oh, what? Locked. You guys just made my year. <laughs> I think I've accomplished a lot in just a short period of time. And it's all thanks to McGee and the friends of Jerry Siegel. Right now I'm looking into healthcare field so that I can kind of give back to other people. A few things I guess that have stuck with me throughout my healing process. It was like if I if I can't go out there and run around, then I don't want to do it. I mean that was kind of my mentality at first. But you have to stay mind strong, um, which is, I guess, easier said than done. You might not be able to do things exactly the way you were before, but you can still do them. I just uh, started playing quad rugby for McGee. It's a great outlet, and I've met a lot of amazing people so far, and 